companies are preparing for one of their busiest periods of the year. It's AGM season. 70% of listed businesses will hold their annual general meetings over the next two months. With bottom lines savaged this year, it's expected to be a gruelling time as investors quiz boards over executive pay packets and the $90 billion worth of capital raisings undertaken. This report from Desley Coleman. Investors have enjoyed nearly two decades of growth in equity markets. But the global financial crisis has come as a harsh reality check. The pending round of annual general meetings will see directors facing investors whose portfolios have been heavily scarred by the market upheaval. Well, it's the one day in the year when the board must front up and you can vote on real things such as sacking directors, approving remuneration reports, approving the issue of shares and having face-to-face -face debate with the board and holding them to account. Shareholder activist Stephen Main says investors looking to be more proactive should take the opportunity to speak with company directors. Do your research, um, work out some questions to ask and uh, think about keeping the board to account. But some analysts question the effectiveness of annual general meetings. The meeting can be very useful as a way of casting uh, intelligent questions and seeking additional information. Uh, unfortunately, AGMs uh, haven't fulfilled that purpose. They really do become a flashpoint for loonies and disgruntled shareholders, many of whom turn up for cakes and sandwiches. Dean Patch from corporate governance group Risk Metrics says while AGMs are a necessary evil, they are often too long and uninformative. I think AGMs could be much better, particularly if uh, they were prepared to enfranchise institutional shareholders, often who are very informed about company performance and company weakness. Unfortunately, institutions don't go to AGMs. Um, if they could participate in the same way they do by way of... Uh, electronic means and companies were prepared to uh, intermediate their questions. I think it could really improve the uh, result both for directors who don't like participating in AGMs because of the standard of debate and for the broader shareholder community who would be better informed if more intelligent questions were asked. Salary packages are sure to be high on the list of investor concerns following last week's draft report from the Productivity Commission on executive pay. Last year we saw 15 of the top 300 companies have their remuneration reports defeated and that was evidence that shareholders clearly thought the directors had the balance wrong between pay and performance. I see boards that are very keen to ensure that the linkage between performance and executive remuneration uh, is very clear. I think at the moment there's, there's quite a degree of uncertainty uh, around uh, being able to implement those, those changes because there are differences. For example, uh, deferral of incentives is generally seen to be a good thing. Uh, however, our tax system doesn't support it. So coming out of all the changes, I think what we need is some uh, certainty, um, uh, certainty and clarity. Capital raisings have been a feature of corporate activity this year, with a record $90 billion raised to repair battered balance sheets. However, many of the raisings, some of which were heavily discounted, were seen as excluding small investors. There's been a huge amount of wealth transferred from uh, retail shareholders to institutions through pr placements and I would expect that particularly from the floor of many uh, meetings you would see uh, retail shareholders in particular being quite angry about that and I'd also expect that um, there'll be a number of directors that are voted against by way of protest. Those protests might not cause upheaval of actual board positions but directors may well come away scarred by the experience.